Hey folks, Frank Zarilla here. Zor Capital. The 26th of November, Sunday, 1230. Uh, we're going to go over uh, the money list, the money scan. Uh, but first, before we get started, a few things. I don't talk much about the market, the SPY, the Dow, the IWM, because right now the market is in an uptrend. Uh, and, and nothing has really mattered. Whatever your concerns may be, Trump, Korea, the VIX, it hasn't mattered as of yet. Uh, when it does, you'll see a pattern of lower highs and lower lows. But more importantly, uh, individual stocks tell you a lot more than the indices can. My rolling five-day watch list tells me all I need to know about what's going on in the market. Um, like I said, nothing has mattered yet. At some point, it will. But the market is in a simple uptrend. And until we break that uptrend and start seeing lower highs and lower lows, uh, just carry on. Uh, so... What we're going to do is we're going to go over the stocks with the highest momentum. It's in my opinion that in the short term, uh, this is the list that's going to give you the best bang for your buck. If I, I, am, I believe if you're looking for short-term trading uh, and you're looking for stocks that are going to move 8, 10, 15, 20% in the next 5 to 10 days, this is the list. And... Uh, what we're looking for is we're looking for contraction in stocks that have high momentum because typically contraction and high momentum stocks typically leads to further expansion. So as we go through the list, we're going to see if we can find some names and, uh, and, and names or examples. Mara, M-A-R-A, some of these, this is probably one of those Bitcoin plays uh, that did well uh, Great week last week with these Bitcoin plays. Don't chase. Xnet, uh, Xnet, another Bitcoin play. Don't chase. Uh, let's see if we can find something here for next week. Mark, another Bitcoin play. Just don't chase. Riot is something that we mentioned last in last Sunday's video. It was just too extended for me, but it made a huge run. Uh, it was a nice one. NKTR. We're looking for plays for next week, specifically for tomorrow. You know, this is this is um, overstock. Another uh, Bitcoin play. This is what I'm talking about. Stocks that have high momentum typically contract and then they move again. Overstock is something that uh, on here on 927 they made a news announcement that they were entering into the digital coin business. Uh, the stock had a huge run and then you know went sideways for roughly about 15 days. At the end of this sideways contraction, the stock printed an inside day and then that's where we got involved through this high, which was roughly 3045 and the stock was off to the races. Again, these contractions typically might last 10 to 15 days if it's, if it's after the initial first push. And then after that, those contraction and, the, and that sideways action, uh, it's less and less days because people are antsy. SRAX, you know, here's another Bitcoin play, but I want you to take a look at something here that's important. Here's a big move higher. It goes sideways, but look at the contraction here. This stock just printed an inside day. You know, actually, I can't believe I missed this. This stock printed an inside day here on 11.17. Uh, and again, when you see an inside day under this context, it means that the move, the prior move is pretty much over and you're looking for a, fr you're going to get a fresh move. And for me, these type, these type of setups, the trigger would be, would be going through this high, going through three, uh, 339. I'll put a buy stop a few, you know, 10 cents above, 5 cents above, uh, and that would be the trigger. But this is, this is an inside day here, then it was off to the races. Zine, here's another example. Big up move on some phase two data. Stock goes sideways. Look how it starts to tighten up here. We got involved here going through this high, 993, and we sold it on the way up. Uh, and I think that's what you need to do. If you want to keep your account at highs, low volatility, two suggestions. Number one, don't chase. If a stock is up three, four, five days in a row, let it go. Number two, Sell on the way up, and you can even hold some to see how far it'll take you. ANAP is another example. 
big up move on some phase two trials. These yellow uh, arrows are pretty much when we got involved. Um, when you get this big move, typically the first sideways move is going to last a little bit longer. It might be 10, 15, 20, even 25 days. But here, you know, here's sideways action. This here, this final inside day, uh, the break of this inside day took the stock higher. Uh, we were involved at 65.95, 65.76, 66.60, and we sold in the way up. Uh, so that's what you're looking for. You're looking for something that has fresh momentum. These are not going to be household names. Uh, you're not going to know who they are. They're probably not going to have earnings or sales. But in the short term, what matters the most is momentum and mean reversion. So far, we're about 30 stocks in, and none of these stocks are household names. So. You know, you, you need to get comfortable with that fact that these are not going to be household names. Here's another blockchain name. Those of you who subscribe to Zorcap Research got alerts here and again here. Here's a stock that was left for the dead. It was trading 2,000 shares a day, 20,000 shares a day. They come out with this blockchain news. Stock goes from $1.20 to two forty. There's no reason to chase here. It goes sideways for weeks. Okay, we got involved right over here at the 220 level. The stock goes down, prints an inside day. Uh, Sort uh, cap uh, subscribers to the research. Uh, you know, got the note. Stock goes from 220, goes up as high as 95%. Uh, we took profits on the way up. Stock goes down and pulls back. Uh, nothing goes up forever. It pulls back. We sent out another note right over here and we got involved back 1114, 1115, 240s, 250s. Stock goes up 100%. Uh, we've taken profits all the way here, especially on Friday. But this is what you're looking for. You're looking for this fresh momentum. This is the fresh move higher. You're not going to catch this move here. This first move, you're not going to catch it unless you know something about the company. Whether you catch it or not, it's irrelevant. What you want to catch is the second and third moves. That's what you want to catch. The first consolidation takes a little bit longer. Okay, then it goes up. The second one, it doesn't last as long. ECYT, here's another situation. We're long this stock. Um, hasn't been able to break this 520 level convincingly, but fresh momentum, sideways action. The first sideways action, the first contraction typically lasts a little bit longer. But then here you start seeing um, it starts to tighten up here a little bit. These yellow arrows, again, we were long here. We took some profits here, uh, 5%. Couldn't follow through. We got long here again. Uh, it went up 5% immediately, but it can't follow through. And then on Friday, when they printed this candle on third on Wednesday, I believe, uh, we got long a little bit more here at 498. Um, but that's what you're looking for. You're looking for... It, SQ is the first name on the list. That's, that's a name that people might know. Uh, it's extended. V-Ray is another example. Big side, big, big up move sideways for a long time. Here, stock goes up and starts to tighten up. And prints an inside day. We got involved at 718 and off to the race as it goes. Again, the best thing you can do is if you have TC2000 or any, or any uh, software for that matter is to rank stocks based on the best performing stocks in the last three months or six months. And basically what you're going to see is you're going to see the stocks that have the highest momentum. And what you want to do is you don't want to chase. Regardless of what people are saying on Twitter, how it's going to the moon, you don't want to chase. You want to wait for, the, for that contraction. This is interesting to me. I like the stock SPPI. Going through 1998, you can put your stop loss right over here at 1890. Or if it breaks out, you can raise it and use the low, uh, this low of the day. But I like this stock here. I'll put a buy stop at 2008, stop at 1890, and raise it as it goes up. So there's a name for it tomorrow. ITUS. This is an interesting name. Uh, it's one of these companies left for the dead. Big up volume. Stock was, stock was trading 28,000 shares, and then suddenly it trades 20 million shares on some news of a patent that can detect uh, cancer. 
whatever. This is something that looks interesting to me going through 304. Uh, with a stop right over here at 260. That's ITUS. I'm not sure we're gonna get the same uh, the same type of trading we got last week. It was Thanksgiving week, which is known to you know to take some stocks a lot higher than usual. You get that speculation in the air. I don't think it's gonna spill over to this week. It might spill over tomorrow in the morning to, for for some of these Bitcoin plays. Uh, but I'm not sure we're gonna get the same type of trading for next week. So basically what you want, here's another one, ZGNX, similar to ADAB, similar to ZYNE, uh, up big on some phase three positive results. Stock starts to trade sideways. Again, that first move, typically there's a lot more cons consolidation. And then once it's off to the races, the pullbacks will be shorter and shorter in duration. Uh, we like the stock. I mean, uh, long the stock here at 37.18. We were long here, took some off for 7.5% and just couldn't get going. But we got long again, going through this high, 37. Uh, no, going through this high, $37. We got hit at 37.18 on the next day. And it's starting to look okay. Uh, there was some put, put selling just recently, which is, which is important. Uh, so that looks okay. Cure is another name. Big momentum here. You don't chase. You wait for that sideways to down action. We got involved right over here going through this high. We sold some up 10%. We stopped out of the rest. Got back involved after it was down three days in a row. Went through this high. There's been some decent call buying um, just recently. There's some big call buying just recently. So that, look, that one looks okay as well. Juno, you know, again, again, big momentum. You don't chase here. You wait for that sideways action. These arrows, again, is when we got involved. Uh, but you can see here at the first consolidation it takes a long time. And then the second one, look how short it is. One, two, three, four, five days, and that's it. It's off again. Uh, we got long the stock here. These yellow arrows here again. We took some off here on the way up. I'm a big believer that you have to sell on the way up. HMNY, something we've been involved. You know, here we took it for a quick profit. Here, here, here. Um, and th th just this is an example that stocks in the short term, they're going to move from 52 week lows, 52 week highs, from the middle, from everywhere. Okay? Basically, it all depends on what's happening in the market. This is a hot stock. A lot, it has a lot of volatility, but the point is that, you know, you might read somewhere, you only buy stocks that are trading near 52-week highs. Yeah, yes, that makes sense. But in certain markets, uh, stocks that, that come from 52-week lows also make a move. And, and what's important is your time frame. If, if your time frame is less than 21 days and you believe in momentum burst, there's a lot of things out there that you read that right now may not be particularly true like it was in the past. Okay, so we're 100 names deep and uh, not much so far except SPPI. That looks interesting tomorrow, specifically for tomorrow. But this is what you, you can do this on your own as long as you have the software and you're able to rank stocks based on momentum of the best performance stocks in the last three to six months. This is pretty much could be your go-to list. Um, and you can just look at the top 250, 500 names. Uh, depending how well you look at charts, it can take 10 to 15 minutes. It's taking me a little bit longer now because I want to go through it slowly so you can see what I'm saying. But normally, I can go through a thousand charts probably in 20 minutes, minutes because I know exactly what I'm looking for. Um... And again, what's important is here is, number one, you rank these stocks based on momentum. Number two, these are not household names. You're not going to recognize the bulk of these names. We're, two, we're 168 names in, uh, in, and we saw SQ, which is you know, a name that people know, OLED. 
a name that people know, uh, but that's about it. Um, and most of these names don't have earnings, don't have sales. In the short term, like I said before, momentum and mean reversion is pretty much what dominates uh, in, in the short term. Uh, GBT is an interesting situation. Candy. You know, candy looks okay to me. Uh, candy printed an inside day long through 765. You can use here 730, give you some room as your stop. Uh, but here is candy. You put a buy stop at 775, stop at 730, and then the rest is up to the market. That one looks okay to me. All right, I'm going to stop this at 200 names, but I think you get the gist of it. And I'll provide the link. Those who have an interest in uh, in getting the Zorcap research, we don't. I don't come out with a lot of names. Uh, but the point is that I'm looking for spe specific criteria to get those names on the list. And so far, uh, we've been spot on. Okay, we've had grow twice for huge returns. There's another Bitcoin play, SSC, that we also wrote about a month ago that made a nice move last week. Uh, so if you have an interest, you can subscribe to it. Uh, but again, that list only comes out with a few names every now and then. So trade it well and be well. If you have any questions, feel free to either email me or at me on Twitter at Zortrades.